Hey there everybody and welcome back to Fratini's channel. Um, today again we have another unboxing. This is um, a very very uh, large painting. I think I'm a little bit ambitious when I when I order diamond paintings because I never really I never really take into consideration how big these paintings are actually gonna be. Um, but yeah, this is this is super big. Now I do know what this is because this is the last diamond painting that I've had on order. Um, I've I mean I've got so many diamond paintings to get through. Um, you wouldn't believe. I mean it's probably not as much as um, some, but I've got about nine diamond paintings that I'm still, um, that I've got still in the boxes that I've actually made no effort to to start on yet because I'm still desperately trying to finish my wolf, which is hiding underneath this. Uh, underneath this painting um i am almost done with that so hopefully by tomorrow or thursday we'll we'll be done with that but anyway this is um a royal, i'm not sure of the size but this is another painting from ever moment you might be able to tell because of the the packaging um ever moment i really love ever moments packaging and i can already feel that this is covered in um the box the outer box like the tube is covered in um bubble wrap so I do know that it's going to be very well packed. This um, this was ordered. Um, I know I didn't. I don't think it took very long at all. I think it took about eight nine days, which is super fast, considering it took nearly two months for my previous painting from Ever Moment to get to me. So this is like super quick delivery. Um, but let's get this unboxed, shall we? This is absolutely huge. So I think I need to start being a little bit less ambitious with um, with the ordering of diamond paintings because <laughs> I, I tend to go go big or go home, as they say. Um, well, I'm just trying to cut into the, the outer package. Yeah, so I can already see it's already covered in uh, in bubble wrap, which is good. So I might be able to just pull this out here we go right I think I just need to to give it a little snip this is actually wider than my desk is uh, let's cut a little bit further down so yeah, I'm not going to order any more diamond paintings until I'm, I've got to about the halfway mark. Um, and when I've got about three or four left, then I'll probably consider ordering some more. But until then, I'm going to just work on what I've got. I mean, I have got a few other bits and pieces on order from AliExpress, um, which is where this was ordered from, by the way, um, from the from the shop um, Ever Moment. I have got a few other things on order from them, not diamond paintings. So I've got a phone case coming for my iPhone and I've also got like a little um, container that literally cost me 75 pence um, in the 50% off sale. Um, I've no idea when that will get to me because it's. Come, I think it's coming proper snail mail. So I'm probably looking at mid-July by the time either of those parcels get to me but I'll probably do an unboxing anyway It'll be something different to to unbox instead of diamond paintings all the while this is super well packaged the actual inside of this is actually stuck to the bubble wrap here we go I found a way in here we go right Okay, so here we are. My next painting from Ever Moment. This is like super heavy. Um, oh, it's a little bit dinted on the back end. Look, the back end's a little bit squashed. I think the painting itself is relatively unscathed. Don't know if you can see that. There's a couple of little creases here where it's obviously. It's, I think it must have had something put on top of it at some point because these take a little bit of uh, force um, just to get on and off. So considering how that's all bent in, I think there's something with quite a hefty weight has been put on top of this painting. Hopefully everything's in all right inside. It looks to be. 
I'm a little bit scared now to open it just and I hope that I haven't lost anything because it was slightly open um right this, on the box here on the little lid it does tell me that there is 20 colors and it's a 60 by 80 centimeter now this is a tinkerbell um I saw this and I just instantly fell in love with it I thought I need to add this to my collection <laughs> So um, let's see. Oh, we've got a, another gift. We've got the usual tools as well. We've got two tool sets by the looks of it. Right, we've had one of these last time. Identical little gift. Have a moment gift. And uh, it looks like two hair bands. I, I, think, I think I've put the others back in the, um, in the tube from my previous painting. But they're exactly the same. They're like it's a little, I don't know, it looks like a little crown. And I think that one's like a little... A little fox so that's kind of cute i like it when they give you little freebies um okay we've got a toolkit we got two pieces of wax the white tray with the funnel i like these trays um a standard pink pen with a three drill tip um a pencil grip which i like and some ever moment tweezers and it looks like there's another another one there for, i think that's for the five drill I think so we've got two kits I think yeah we've got two kits again standard tray tweezers pen with a grip um, well it's the white funnel tray and two pieces of wax so there's two tool kits I think they send you more than one tool kit depending on how big the painting is I think that's what I think that's what they do and I, I think that's across the board I think most um, sellers send more than one kit if it is quite a big painting so we've got two kits which is good um, let me move these scissors before I end up cutting the canvas that I'm working on and oh, we've got some Ziploc bags and some sticky labels handy oh wow and here's all the beads we have more beads. Right, I think, I think that is all the beads. Um, let's have a look at these. I love the way Ever Moment pack their beads. Now this is, this is a square drill. Look all the beads. Now they are quite neutral in colour. Um, you'll see why I will show you a picture hopefully there's um, a little thumbnail on the on the canvas um, there's a lot of like sandy colors so instead of it being 310 it's this color um, which is 452 is the DMC code um, so there's lots and lots and lots and lots of that and um, a few bags of um, pastel colors so okay so we've got two full bags of beads we'll have a closer look at them in just a minute let's have a quick look at the canvas hopefully it isn't damaged I think I might be safer taking this out from the other end okay Oh wow, this is huge. Oh my god. It's absolutely mahusive and it's empty. <laughs> it's absolutely huge. Oh my lord. Oh wow. I think I've way bitten off more than I can chew on this one. Right, I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh, there's another sheet here. Oh, it's actually got the... Now, this is the first time that I've had an inventory sheet from Ever Moment. But there we go, look. That is what she looks like. Isn't she pretty? And there's all the DMC codes. There's 20 colours. It's a full drill, square diamond. And there's no 310. The, yeah, 30, no, there's 30,000 almost, I don't think you can see that. There's almost 31,000 of 3861. 
um, there's 14,500 of 3042. Oh my God. I think I've just kissed goodbye to the next three months of my life. <laughs> and or everything else is like in the thousands except for like 367,271. Wow. And there's no 310. I would have thought there would have been some 310, especially here in the shadow, like, you know, where it um, it forms the shape of her, her arms and her face, like the outline. I would have thought that would have been 310, but, uh, but not. So I'm pleased that they've given me an inventory sheet because last time they didn't with the, um, with the garden scene that I had from Ever Moment. And there's the little thumbnail. It looks actually more pink on the thumbnail than it, it actually did on the advertisement on AliExpress. I actually don't think I'm going to be able to unravel this for the entirety of my desk. When I'm working on this painting, I think I'm going to have to work... Which way are we up? I think I might have to work this way like sideways and not lengthways because it's not going to fit on my desk and it's certainly not going to fit on my easel. But let's have a quick look at the at the symbols. Let's make sure they're clear. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty certain that they will be. I mean, I'm not going to like take the backing sheet off completely because there's not really that much point because I roll them back up and I put them back in their containers and boxes until I'm ready to work on them because I have limited space. So what I will do, let's quickly just peel. Okay. Right, it's in two halves. Actually, no, it's in three. It's in three separate sections. I don't know if you can actually see the canvas. It is pretty clear. The symbols are quite clear. Do you see that? And it is pretty much all like a very soft, pale, lilac pink, if you like. Let's check the middle section. Oops, I'm not going to be able to open this the entire way. But I just want to check that. So this is sticking to the canvas. The, it's pulling the glue up when I'm pulling the sheet back. I had a painting that did this before. There we go. It is pretty clear and it's nice and sticky. There we go. Now I'm thinking this is I'm not sure what part of the what that is there. There you go. Do you see that? Nice and clear. Some decent symbols. Yeah, this is going to be interesting to work on due to its size. I'm actually thankful that I'm going to be working on a smaller um, painting the next time round. Um, so I'm going to be working on an owl after this, after the forest wolf that I'm working on. I just, I just need to work on a smaller project because I'm just way too ambitious with the size of these paintings. But I like them to look the best, you know. Um, yeah, I think the canvas is good. I can't open it all entirely. Um, there's no creases from what I can see. It's nice and clear, the canvases. Look at that. It's huge. Wow. This is going to be fun to work on. If 
if I thought the wolf that I'm working on at the moment, a 45 by 60, was going to take me some time, this is going to take me a good length of time. The problem with the wolf, that it's a, there's a lot of confetti. Um, if you're not familiar what confetti is, it's it's like when you're swapping and changing colours. Like you, it's not so like with with this one, it's a lot of of one colour. So you can get big blocks of colour. Whereas the wolf that I'm working on, there's a lot of swapping and changes to different coloured beads. So that's where it gets his term, um, like the confetti, confetti effect, because there's so many of different colours and that is the time consuming part. It does take quite a while when you, you get the confetti, but she is going to look so pretty when she's done. She really is. And for 20 colours, it doesn't look like there's 20 colours there. How, how can you fit 20 colours into that? There must be so many different variations of the same colour. These symbols, I don't know what you think of the symbols here. They look all right. There's none that look similar to one another. Sometimes on diamond paintings, you can get two symbols that look relatively the same. All right, let's have a quick look at the beads then quickly. I like the way Ever Moment pack their their beads. Everything's just so neat and tidy. What they didn't send me, I've noticed this time round, was um, a letter. You know, the last time I did an unboxing of an Ever Moment painting, there was um, there was like a letter in there stating that they were so confident that they was going, you know, they'd got all the beads and everything intact, that there would be no need whatsoever to do an inventory. Um, they haven't sent me one this time, but I am really glad that they've sent me an inventory sheet. That is like really cool, and they've even labelled the bags one of two, two of two, sixty by eighty. Wow. <laughs> Right, let's have a look at them. And I bet you I'm not going to be able to get these back in the bag the same way as I got them out. Does anyone ever find that, that beads never go back in the bag the same way you put them in? Right, okay, so this is all one colour. 3861. Oh wow, <laughs> and it's still going 10 minutes later, holy crap. Right, how many of 3861 are we supposed to have? 30,000, well nearly 31,000. So how many do you get in one of these little bags? Is that like 200? Is it 200 to one of these little bags? I think it is, isn't it? And like in these small ones it's 100. Or these clusters 500. I think this is a 200. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 1. 2, 4, 6, 8, 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 3. 2, 4, 6, 8, 4. 2, 4, 6, 8, 5. 2, 4, 6, 8, 6. 2, 4, 6, 8, 7. Two, four, six, eight, eight. Two, four, six, nine. So that's nine hundred. I think I've counted that wrong. <laughs> I think I've confused myself. Um, I think I'll probably do a proper inventory off street, off um, off camera, because there's obviously quite a lot. Three, oh, four, two. I think what we will do is just quickly check. So we've got 3861. We've got 3865. I'm working on a lot of that colour at the moment on this wolf. I've seen other people, um, other people's YouTube videos that say that some people, when they're using this colour, 3865, it looks so different from different sellers some of them look more like a cream others are like brilliant white I'd say this is quite white in comparison to 3865 let's have a quick look oh poop I've just dropped the top of the lid on the 
So that's the 3865 that I'm working on at the moment with the wolf. It's a round diamond. So I don't know if you can see a comparison. That looks slightly more creamy than that one does. That looks more white. And yet that looks... Actually, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think, whether that looks pretty much the same. Obviously that's round, this is square. But I, I did see um, a YouTube video of... Um, I think it's Diamond Painting by um, with Donny. Um, she was saying that... A couple of the paintings that she'd had with 3865, some have been like brilliantly white, and um, from other sellers, it's been like more of an off white. Um, that's 646, that's the wrong painting, that's the wolf. 3799, so there is a lot of neutral colours, there's more. There's more variation of colours than what I expected there to be, to be honest. I expected it to... I expected there to be like, I don't know, five or six colours, not 20. Right, I'm going to do a proper inventory off, off camera, I think, because, yeah... There is a lot. Okay. And we've got more like lilacs, pinks, neutral colours there. So like 451, for example, we've only got one bag. Oh no, there's several. Okay. So when you're looking at this one, that is a hundred, is it not? Is that a hundred? And then this is a two hundred, or is it a five? If someone could please explain this to me, because I get so confused when, especially when um, sellers like put a bulk load of one bead in one bag, it's difficult to work out exactly how much of each colour I have when you when they don't actually put how many bags whereas these have gone by I think ever moment do their paintings by weight so for 3861 I'm supposed to have 30,922 well it stands a good chance that there is going to be like nearly 31,000 in in here so there's another one there that I've missed so so I'm guessing then is that 200 or 500 in one of those bags and just so I can work out the inventory properly I mean I tr I do kind of trust ever moment because of how they did my how my previous painting from them came. So I'm guessing that's a 500 and that's a 100 because it's definitely not any more than a hundred in there. I wouldn't have thought. So I think that's a 500. In which case, if it's a 500, where's the end of this thing? Right. So that's a 500. So we've got 1,002, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22 so that only makes it two th I don't know I don't understand if someone would like to shed some light on that for me it would be very much appreciated but all I can say is there is there is a lot of this one particular colour 3861 there's a lot of we'll leave it at that for now and I mean these small bags so if we have a look for example at 211 
211, there's 1,389. So if we say there's 100, so 1, 2, 3, I want to keep these separate. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and there's 9 there. I don't think there's any more. So there's 9 bags. So if there's 100 in that, that's 900. 211. No, that can't be right. Because I need 1,389. Unless I'm missing a bag of 211 somewhere. Which I don't see any more of. But yeah, before I, um, I start panicking, thinking I've been shorted on my beads, if someone would be able to let me know how many there is in one of these packets and how many is in one of those. And then I'll be able to do a better calculation of of how many beads I've got. I do know ever moment to do their paintings by um, by weight. So I am pretty certain that I have got the right colours. What I will do though is I will do a quick inventory just to make sure I've got every colour. And um, and then the, the only other part he's worrying to worry about is whether or not I've got enough of that particular colour. But um, yeah, overall, yeah, 10 out of 10 again from Ever Moment. Definitely 100% recommend Ever Moment. This painting looks absolutely amazing. I'm so looking forward to working on this one. Because of all the other paintings I've got, I think I'm, it's going to be Christmas or beyond by the time I get round to this this one. So, so yeah, yeah, it's going to take me. I think I've just kissed goodbye to at least three months of my life because this is going to take me a long time. But anyway, enough rambling. Um, one hundred percent. Um, happy with this. A little bit, few dents here and there, but I don't think that by any way, shape, or form is ever moments full it's down to it's down to the postage it's down to the postman or the couriers or whoever but um yeah i think i'm pretty much done thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to post any comments um don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and um if at all possible if you could just confirm to me how many are in these bags that would be very much appreciated so thank you so much guys for watching um i will see you next time probably for another progress video i want to try and do a, like a live stream or just a quick progress video when i complete the the forest wolf i'm, I'm guessing i've probably got about six hours left of this painting so it's not I haven't got long to go. Um, as I say, there isn't any more diamond paintings on order as yet. I want to try and work on what I have before I start purchasing any more because space is becoming a massive issue. Um, but I have got a few bits and pieces. I've got a phone case, like I said, and a little um, a little container coming from, from AliExpress. So I'll probably do a little five-second unboxing video of them when they get here if anyone's interested. Um, but apart from that, it'll just be you know, little videos here and there, live streams and uh, progress videos. So thank you for watching, guys. As always, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And I will see you all again next time. Take care and happy painting. Bye.